Given that Lexus parent Toyota holds the patent to the world's most popular hybrid system, it came as no surprise that Lexus planned to stick it in the NX. Those hybrid badges mean that this NX comes equipped with a 2.5-liter inline 4 mated to a CVT while two electric motors, one supplementing the engine up front and another at the rear justifying the AWD designation, deliver electric propulsion in lieu of the 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder that the non-hybrid NX300 gets. The hybrid system makes a combined total of 194 horsepower. 41 ponies less than the gasoline version that comes mated to a six-speed automatic and sends power either to the front or all four wheels. Emerging from our driveway and plowing onto the main road with the air conditioning on high and the cooled seats blasting chilled air onto our backsides, it became apparent that Lexus thought drivers who prefer the hybrid NX would be of the unhurried variety proved by the 8.8 .8 seconds it takes the 300 hours to reach 60 miles per hour from standstill. But once the cabin cooled and the NX caught up with the pace of traffic, we were able to feast our eyes on the well-crafted interior. Soft black leather covers every portion of the NXS cabin that will come in frequent contact with driver and passenger skin while the leather-wrapped steering wheel adds tranquility to the confidence delivered by the direct yet uncommunicative steering rack. Plastic colored to look like metal trim accents the interior and adds visual variety to an otherwise dark and monochromatic cabin. Not like this crossover needs more optical distractions though, the 50 plus buttons that sit within reach of the driver steal plenty of attention and could easily overwhelm technophobes on a bad day. Keeping with Lexus brand philosophy, most of the buttons control comfort and convenience functions. The buttons that don't tinker with the Vacor audio system are either devoted to adjusting drive modes or tweaking driver aid settings. Thankfully all complication can be done away with by gripping the wheel, looking ahead at the road, placing one's right foot on the pedals, and driving. With the moonroof closed to keep out an angry sun, the cockpit feels cozy but not cramped C-pillars prohibit vision and foster dependence on the backup cameras plural because of the 360 degree surround view, but ample amounts of rear headroom ensures comfort isn't a sacrifice. Occupants are generally insulated from the outside world thanks to a ride that has been quieted on this facelifted model and a smooth suspension that skews towards tranquility even if it kills dynamics. The NX OS and T quite so cut bumps and freeway expansion joints the way the body roll indicates it would, but on most road surfaces the crossover remains composed and unhindered in its mission to sweep Americans who want nothing more out of their commuting tools than comfort and style off of their feet. It is at that that the NX succeeds most. Ask for more and you may be disappointed because from the beginning, the NX was designed to be a rider's car, not a driver's machine. The effect of the styling is head-turning, to say the least, and though the NX's looks might not appeal to everyone, Lexus design team has managed to follow the prevailing modern social narrative closely enough that the crossover will be interpreted as pretty by most. With aesthetics manufactured for a world where restaurants redesign their dishes to be more Instagrammable, it has no wonder the NX is a hit especially because it does and falls short in many areas unless you try to get it to do what its German competitors do better. Lexus has had enough time in the game to give its own take on luxury, and that perspective typically does and involve sheer driving pleasure. It does, however, include infotainment systems that induce fits of rage. A lack of smartphone integration and the fact that an unintuitive touchpad is the only way to interact with the infotainment makes one want to forego use of the newly enlarged 10.3-inch screen altogether, but at least the bevy of buttons on the center stack allows the driver and passenger to use features without having to see a therapist afterwards. If a driver does find themselves lost in the software maze of a GPS destination chain, Driving responsibilities can be partially shifted to the now standard safety system plus suite of driver aids. Included in that package are a pre-collision system, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, and automatic high beams. The fact Lexus made this package standard beginning in 2018 means that one can have a luxury crossover with all the latest safety systems for the low price of $39,330, including destination. 
Budget seekers can opt for the gasoline only in X300 and save $2,350 over the hybrid. Whether it is worth it is a question that depends on driving style, but our NX yielded an average of 28.9 miles per gallon during its week as a mobile air conditioner roaming through the desert. That's about 2 miles per gallon less than the NX300HS combined EPA rating but it still beats the NX300S rating of 24 miles per gallon and 25 miles per gallon combined for AWD and FWD models, respectively. The NX, like most Lexus products outside of the F lineup, has an unengaged soul. It acts less like a capable partner on the battlefield of the modern American road and more like a bodyguard that makes dealing with platoons of paparazzi or hordes of rush hour traffic less of an ordeal. At least it's damn good at doing that. Thanks for watching.